Hello, Southwest Regional Sales Team. Today, our inspirational moment is dealing with the habit of worry. And remember, the very word inspired comes from breathing life within your soul. So today we're going to talk about the habit of worry and how that leads to anxiety and that anxiety is the habit of worry spun out of control. Of course, worrying and anxiety are all part of feelings and feelings don't think. Feelings hijack reason. Feelings disconnect rational thought. Feelings bully decisions. Feelings are the bass drum in the orchestra that takes over. Feelings cause a spotlight or hyper-focusing of the brain that is trying desperately to find context in a stressful situation. I want to introduce to you the five second rule, if you're not already familiar with it, why it's important and how it works. The five second rule is used to reset the brain and to move from the basal ganglia where the looping negative self-talk is occurring to the amygdala, frontal cortex, rational thinking part of the brain to stop and anchor thought to reset the brain. The five second rule is simply to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. When you catch yourself in a negative self-talk loop that's looping and looping, negative thinking, critical thoughts, self-defeating thoughts, etc. This five second rule is most currently attributed to Mel Robbins. And she is an amazing um, public speaker and her philosophy for getting control of your life and breaking bad habits. Mel Robbins motivation is explained in depth in her lectures. She shares how you can train confidence in your life and defeat anxiety and depression. Moreover, the five second rule and most of the trial through our conscious decision, we can take control of our minds and choose to be more productive, choose to be more successful and choose to have a better family. So below are some references if you want to explore this further. So let's talk about how to anchor and then how to return to the issue and process. One of the ways you can anchor yourself is to think about the outcome that you want to achieve. Remove yourself from the present and visualize the future outcome. Find a mantra that works for you. Tell your body that you are excited because it can't tell the difference between being afraid, anxious, fearful, and happy stress. And recall that your body listens to you, listens to your thoughts and your words, and review the TMS presentation that we've done earlier. Visualize the customer, boss, or policeman that's intimidating you as dot, 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 something that works for you. Ground yourself with a prayer, a scripture, a quote. So how do you process? You put a pin in it, you, you've hit pause, and you're going to return to the situation later when you're thinking rationally. A good standby is the pros and cons list. Say you're thinking about changing a job. What are the pros? Think it through. Write down. Analyze. And list the cons. But don't forget, if you're carrying a bad habit, it's just going to follow you around. So you need to deal with that separately, such as facing the same worry habit. Another technique, this is one that Selenia is working with on the Monday and Thursday group, and that is analyzing 
the habit that you want to break with a high impact behavior get, uh, diagram where you're looking at what needs to happen to change this habit and listing it as what will have the highest impact but is the hardest to actually put into process or the easiest to put into process. Conclusion. We can't always choose to feel right, but you can teach yourself to catch the drift, the endless do loop, the negative spiral. Respond with a five second rule or another technique that works for you. Anchor, put a pin in it, pause the record, brainwash yourself, control your thought, and then return to the issue to process because you can choose to decide. And this concludes our inspirational moment. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you 